Hi, I'm Aaron of Living Science Videos. We're going to talk about types of mutations in this video, but first let's talk about words and letters and what they mean as a metaphor. Have you ever seen this meme passed around? Now, maybe you could read that as the meme claims, but here it is unscrambled. The meme claims that people only read the first and last letters of the word. Although that claim may be somewhat overstated, there's a small kernel of truth somewhere in it because most people are still able to read it. I mean, how many times have you read people informally saying that someone looses something rather than loses it? I mean, you still know what they meant, right? Now, both the DNA and what scientists call your germline or sex cells that carry the information needed to spread your genes to your offspring and your somatic, meaning body cells, are composed of letters that are symbols that mean something. In words, like loses, those letters stand for sounds. But letters in DNA code stand for the nitrogenous bases adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. And just like letters are units that together in different combinations make different sounds that form different words with different meanings, the letters A, C, G, and T stand for nitrogen bases that in different combinations form different amino acids that form different proteins when combined. Only, when the letters in DNA that stand for nitrogen bases are combined, they don't form a word, they form what is called a codon. As you can see in this codon chart, all codons have three letters that stand for three nitrogen bases from either adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. For example, on the chart, the amino acid glycine is formed by the combinations of GGT, GGC, GGA, and GGG. Glycine is one of the amino acids in the protein collagen. And collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. Your skin, bones, tendons, and ligaments all have collagen proteins in them. Only, when DNA is translated by messenger RNA to make codons, thymine is replaced with uracil, so the codon chart will look like this. And one thing you may have noticed on this chart is that not all codons code for amino acids. Some are stop codons. Stop codons help stop the mRNA chain because the amino acid chain for producing a protein is finished. But does protein synthesis always run smoothly? A DNA has a 99% fidelity rate because the process is efficient and because repair enzymes fix the vast majority of copying errors when there is a mistake. Mistakes in DNA replication, or errors in copying the code faithfully, are called mutations. What happens when a codon is spelled incorrectly? Does it, like a word, lose its, or, or lose its meaning? Let's have a look at these mistakes and what that means. The smallest type of mutation is called a point mutation. They occur in just one gene. We'll get to the larger type of mutations in the next video, but first let's look at a mutation that takes place in just one point of a gene. Just like if you change letters in a word in a sentence, you can change the meaning of not just the word, but the sentence too. When you change the nucleotides in a codon of a DNA sequence, you can change the amino acid the codon produces. Those changes might have no consequences, or negative consequences, or even a beneficial change to that organism. Let's have a look at the effects of a single base mutation in DNA code. The first effect we'll talk about is a silent mutation. If you look at this diagram in your codon chart, GGC codes for the amino acid glycine. But if adenine is substituted for cytosine, the codon becomes GGC, which still produces glycine. This is why it's called a silent mutation, because there's been a change, but there's no effect in the amino acid. For example, if you substitute the letter A in gray with an E, you'll get gray, which doesn't change the meaning of the word. It can be spelled either way. On your codon chart, glycine can be made using the codons GGA and GGC, like we just learned, or with GGU or GGG. Now look at what happens when a codon becomes jumbled and doesn't read as the same amino acid. It's called a missense mutation. Looking at the diagram again, this time the guanine in a CGT codon is replaced with adenine, which makes a totally different amino acid, CAU, because thymine translates to uracil. So before, you had an amino acid called arginine, but by making the change at the base, you get histidine instead. Like, if you change the letter C in cat to an R, it becomes rat, which is a totally different animal. Of course, point mutations like missense mutations are not going to make a total change like that, but the changes can be significant. Let's have a look at an example of real-world missense mutation. Sickle cell anemia is a disease caused by a missense mutation in hemoglobin DNA. A healthy DNA codon sequence in just one base pair causes the problem. As you can see, instead of being round like normal blood cells, the blood cells are sickle-shaped. The shape can cause clogs in arteries. Also, sickle cell blood cells die off early and can leave the patient with less blood, causing anemia. The life expectancy of someone with sickle cell can be 30% shorter than the average lifespan. 
The rap artist, Albert Johnson, better known as Prodigy, died this month in hospital while being treated for sickle cell anemia. Millions have the gene worldwide, but sickle cell anemia is more common in people with ancestry from tropical and subtropical climates like Africa and India. One in 12 African Americans have at least one copy of the gene, though you need two to have sickle cell anemia. Why then do millions of people carry this harmful gene and pass it on to their offspring? Because sometimes mutations are harmful, neutral, or beneficial, and sometimes they can be both harmful and beneficial. The sickle cell mutation has a hidden benefit. Having just one copy of the mutated gene helps the carrier to better tolerate the effects of malaria. Now, malaria kills 429,000 people every year in tropical countries. But as we noticed from our codon chart earlier, not all codons are codes for amino acids. Some signal the coding frame to stop. Just like if you put a period before the end of the sentence, you will get an incomplete and non-functional nonsense sentence. You will usually get an incomplete and non-functional protein. Conversely, the reading frame won't be signaled to stop when an amino acid chain is finished if the sense codon is put in place of a stop codon. And one thing that can happen when a base pair is changed in reading the frame is that it can cause the frame to shift and change the codons that follow them. Like the sentence example of this graphic, inserting or adding an H where it doesn't belong in the sentence shifts all the other letters over, changing the words. Remember, unlike sentences, codons are limited to three letters, so adding a base that doesn't belong can shift the whole reading frame to the right. And the opposite can happen when you delete a base. The reading frame shifts to the left, and you're missing one base pair at the end. Frame shift mutations can cause major problems, such as some cancers. But never say never in biology, because a base pair deletion in the CCR5 gene causes frame shift mutations that can make some lucky mutant less susceptible to HIV. So, whether a particular mutation is detrimental or beneficial sometimes depends on your circumstances. Mm -hmm.